Well, welcome to the small scape today. I'm talking Crips, and these are my three favorite, especially for nano tanks. Welcome back to the channel. I decided to do this video because I finally have all three of my favorite Crips. Now I will link up there, down there, my two videos. I know I did at least two videos on Crips. One comparing them to Anubias because they're both really great plants. Whether you're a beginner, advanced, whatever, you're gonna love these plants. And then also I believe I did a video completely on Crips and why they're so amazing. But they are, I love them because they are very beginner friendly for any kind of conditions that you may have in an aquarium, whether it be uh, pH, the temperature, uh, also the light. I don't run CO2 and I don't run high light. Crips are great for low light and no CO2. They're just a really great plant. These three varieties though, I found that are my favorite that I figured I should share with you. Now the first one, I think I'm gonna start with my, this is not a good example, but I did want to have all three of them in their little pots, in their little net pots. So this little guy, he's so tough that he wound up behind, way in the back of a tank, totally neglected, on his side, and he's still kicking. This is a very baby, very tiny, recuperating, trying to survive, Crip Parva. a very, very tiny, I consider it kind of grass-like. I typically get it at Pet Smart in their tissue culture section. I think I do, yeah. And very, very small, it's very slow growing. So when I first get it, it really resembles Microsword or uh, just a very small little grass. It's slow growing, so it will look like that for quite some time. So if you have an, a nano tank and you're looking for something very tiny with kind of little grass-like leaves, this is great. It will grow up and be uh, become maybe two to four inches tall. It's a great little plant that I like to put in almost any small little nano tank, including some of my bookshelf tanks that are only two or three gallons. I think it's just a really great plant and the fact that it's slow growing doesn't bother me one bit because I do enjoy it as it's super tiny. Now my next favorite is Crypt Willisi, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but uh, this is one of my absolute favorites. I almost always will use it when doing a competition scape. If I've done uh, both of the scapes that I did at the Oaza booth at the Aquashellas, I chose this one. I kind of got into a rut there for a while. I was totally obsessing about this one and the next one. Really love this one. This is Crypt Willisi. And if you, kinda, if you, if you are familiar with the grown-up version of Crypt Parva, this looks very, very similar, just a little bit larger. So it kind of looks like it's larger cousin. That's why I really like it. It, it has kind of a longer, elongated kind of uh, leaves that are almost like, I don't know, like ne needle-like. And I think it's just uh, a really great one to use with Crip Parva or in place of it. Uh, it kind of reminds me of a, uh, like a Crip Lucens almost, but it stays on the smaller side. This uh, Crip Parva is two to four inches tall and this one probably three to five inches tall. So that's great for any kind of nano tank size, just depending on the, the size of your tank, that would just depend where you would put it and determine where you would put it in the foreground, midground, or in the back. But you, you could use this from a very tiny nano tank to uh, all the way up to a 20 gallon. You could find a nice little place for this, but it'll wind up kind of bunching and uh, forming kind of little mounds of these beautiful plants. Really, really love them for pretty much any kind of style aquascape. And I think it goes really, really nicely because of the kind of, it's, it's a, a medium sort of green color. That's why I really like it. Even the stems kind of stay um, a majority of uh, the green color. Now my next one, this is currently my favorite crypt and I do obsess over it. And this one is Crypt Bacchetti, but this is the Pecci variety. It is smaller than just the regular Crypt Bacchetti. It stays similarly sized as the last one, the Willis Eye. And this one, say, probably three to five inches tall would probably be a good guess. And look at those leaves, I'm just obsessed. They, when you get them, when they're this, this size, they still look kind of like a spoon shape more rounded, 
than the traditional ones, uh, the Crips that you might get at any kind of big box store, the Crypt Wenties or uh, the Angelata, the red, bronze, green, all the, all the different colored ones. Those have very long leaves, but when you get them this size, oh, I just love them. Just a totally different kind of leaf shape and the color, if you've noticed, is a lot darker. It can go to more of like the, uh, as they say, the olive green color. And then the undersides and even the little stems are like a violet or a, more of a purple color. So that's a really fun, not only the leaf shape, but also the color that you're gonna bring into your tank. Just love it. So whether or not you are familiar with Crips, if you use them or not, I highly recommend that you look these up. Now, Flip Aquatics is a channel sponsor. They do carry these for the most part, I believe. They, they have these typically in stock. These are kind of fan favorites. And I highly recommend you try them out when you get, because he's now, uh, Flip Aquatics is now carrying Tropica plants. And you get, as you can tell, from one little pot, you get a very, very nice amount here. This is gonna look beautiful in one of my uh, scapes coming up. I have a lot of scapes actually coming up, but we're doing some, uh, moving of some tanks and uh, so a lot of fun coming there. So I wish I was holding a better little example of the Crypt Parva so you could get a better idea. But just these two, if you put them together, look so beautiful. The slightly different leaf shapes and then the, to the different colors. And all, all wrapped up in nice little beginner friendly plants that will go in uh, a lot of different water conditions and uh, don't require any extra light or CO2 and just great. The only negative that I will throw out and remind you with Crips is they do tend to melt when you first put them in your aquarium. They can, they can grow submerged or immersed, but when you do take them from the store, when you get them and you put them in your aquarium, chances are your leaves will melt. They'll kind of either the leaves will fall off, they'll look like they're getting slimy and fall off, but don't worry. It's just recuperating. It will grow brand new leaves for you. So give it like a month and then it'll kind of get settled in and then you're gonna be really happy with all the beautiful growth in your tank. So let me know, have you tried any or all of these three varieties? What do you think? Do you like them? Do you love them? Do you have a favorite? What is your favorite Crypt variety? Let me know down below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.